Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to sunny Donny. Well, it's been two weeks since my last ride. I think it was my uh, birthday ride from York. If you haven't seen that, it's a, a video from York to, uh, to home, so I'll make my birthday. That's like nearly two weeks ago. We've had that much rain. It's not really been uh, ideal, particularly local rides in the wet, it's, it's, it's naff. Uh, and I needed to get out. I haven't felt much like it. Um, I had to push myself and I know I need to make a video. Uh, and thank you, uh, Amelia, one of my subscribers, for commenting upon the, uh, the video regarding uh, To Kill. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I do. Yeah, it's not always uh, intentional, it's never planned, but it's never really uh, easy to make videos uh, for entertaining purposes. I meant them as a catalogue for myself, but if anybody uh, enjoys them, excellent. But I will try to make them enjoyable for you as much as possible. So today, um, I've got a route in my head sorted. I've just left Quarry Park. I'm thinking of going to Branton. There's a few routes there. Uh, backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards, crisscrossing. One of them is on the river bank, uh, the River Torn. I know last summer when I went, it was uh, overgrown and it was hard. Uh, these last two weeks have had a lot of rain, so I think it's gonna be hard then. And it'll take us to a new stretch of uh, Lindo and we're back home. Now, uh, I've got two new uh, places to go uh, regarding the uh, what's not been seen on the video. I've, uh, I haven't been down these for a while because they've got bloody dogs. <laughs> and uh, once I've been chased, poof, I'll not go back. But today, I'm braving it. All being well, they won't be there. If they are there and I get chased, well, it'll make it entertaining for you. So I'm heading up towards uh, High Street at Dunsville and then uh, taking a, a path down uh, Winthorpe Hall. Oh. I've been down this path before and recorded it Ooh, yeah. we, uh, with Josh um, a while back. This was part and parcel of the uh, Hatfield, Moore and Lindome route. At the bottom of this path we turn left, but today we're going to go right um, through the farmyard into Armthorpe um, and see if the dog is there. Ooh. Could stay to this. <laughs> Crazy. This is a, uh, a well walked path and yet it's overgrown. So it's uh, it's getting warm now. I earlier had my waterproofs on, ready for a bit of a wet deluge. And then it didn't happen. So I thought I'd just leave my fleece on long trousers. I'm glad I've got my trousers on, it's protecting me a bit, but still getting stung. But it's bloody hot. You forget when the sun comes out, it's summer. God, my legs are a bit uh, stingy now. <laughs> you might see, a, you might see a reindeer. Oh, dear. I think I need a dot leaf before then a bloody reindeer. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> if you live in Donny and you know where I am, leave it till autumn. Whew, these nettles are uh, pretty ripe. You can see I'm going to put my hands in the middle of the bars. Ah, coming to the end. Last time with Josh, I took a left up to Rouen Potatoes and over the motorway. Today, taking the right of the bridle path through. Uh, the farmer's uh, farmyard. So I'm biting the bullet, hoping for the best, dreading the worst. We've got IKEA. <coughs> So bring us out on the roundabout of the uh, the link road uh, from Armthorpe to the M18. So 
Let's get through this uh, farmer's field, uh, farmer's uh, farmyard. God, bloody hell. Crazy. All it takes is one bad experience and it puts you off. Hello. Oh, no dog. Not happy. Well, that's one down. One to go. <laughs> well, happy with that. Might be another few years before I come through here again. But it does make it quicker. I know I was doing the, uh, gosh, what was it? The uh, the Bluebell run. And uh, I'm sorry I forgot your name, but a subscriber commented upon uh, me going through. Uh, Duns, Duns villain on, uh, on the road to Armthorpe and why did to come this way I did mention crazy dogs uh, but it was right I should do it I have done it I don't like roads best of times at least it was relatively quiet even though I had a bit of bad experience on it as the video uh, states clearly so that's me rambling on I'm gonna uh, get this roundabout and we're gonna go right up to the uh, M18 now junction 4 Again, this is being recorded on Strava. Uh, I know some people have uh, commented and uh, messaged me on uh, Donny Lad uh, uh, Gmail. If you want to message me, it's in uh, it's in um, both my Facebook account and on the uh, YouTube uh, channel. And it's uh, and they're going to Strava and uh, ooh, following uh, where I've been, which is good. Now I'm not going on the M18, that would be silly. There is a path here, it is a footpath. It's usually overgrown, nobody ever comes down it. And I haven't been down it since they, uh, they started building last year. They finished building it, so I don't know what the diversion is going to be like. I'm not, gonna sh I'm not even sure if it's passable. We shall see. Here we go. Oh, looking good so far. I think that's the uh, the end of the uh, <laughs> the clear run. Where's the hell? We don't need a Ooh, shine a light. Nettle City. Should have known. Shite. Oh, four, four, four. All right. Go on, Donny lad. <laughs> you knew it was going to be shocking. Oh, shit. Fuck it now. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, oh stung. Oh, yes. Oh, they've got a fence here now, then. Oh, gosh, this is hard going. I don't look it on the GoPro. It's grass, wet grass. And the pedal forces against me. It's just sucking my energy a bit. Let's just take my time. Let's just take my time. Oh, got a bit of a dab on actually, sweat. You know, if I had to put my fleece on, I'd have been cold. Put my fleece on, red hot. Oh, it's very nice. Better than I thought. The fences up here, they were never up before, so obviously that's something to do with the construction. So I think that's what they were building. <laughs> They don't build uh, small things in Donny, all massive warehouses, innit? I think a lot of them are uh, regional distribution centres because we are the close links to the A1M, 1M, 180, etc. Oh, flipping neck. Well, fortunately, this is all down. I was expecting it to be bedlam. So I'm quite happy so far. Very pleased I'm able to get through. Well, that was better. Ooh, a bit of debris. Yeah, so uh, I think in the last couple of videos I've, ex uh, I've extended uh, out of the Doncaster or my own area and travelled. Obviously, the last one was the uh, the York one because that was my birthday, which I've always wanted to do. And now the lockdown has eased. 
and things are opening up. My sole intention, if you remember, was to get out into the mountains and uh, last year I did a couple of courses with uh, Mountain Biking Mission, uh, Gareth. He runs courses at Dolby, uh, Dolby Forest. I did the beginners, which was excellent, loved that. And then I did the advanced, um, both of which uh, I thoroughly enjoyed. It just gave me that confidence uh, of knowing what I was doing was correct, even though I've not really done such terrain. So I booked in now for uh, July the 11th at Dolby um, with Gareth. I'll put description, uh, his details in the description to do some airtime. Then I'll be able to put my uh, skills to the test bo both on uh, bike parks and uh, up in the hills. Uh, if you uh, haven't seen uh, Mark at Gibbs MTB and uh, Dave Jemvey, please check them out. These guys, uh, I appreciate them very much. Um, I think, as, as you know, I went too well last year and I came off it, uh, but watched the videos, inspired me. And they, those two uh, have been participating in some good local rides. I think the last one they did was uh, together and <laughs> They were really good so please check them out um, again I'll put all their details their channels on uh, my description as well as uh, Gareth and then uh, I should be getting into the hills soon but I thought today because the weather's been naff and I haven't been out and I needed to uh, create a video I will just do a local ride and try out uh, some places I haven't been um, but no designated route as yet uh, can I go down now I might remember that takes me up to the road up here which uh, I might as well stay on here I'm back on familiar uh, territory here it's getting windy it's nice to have that wind uh, through me because I'm bloody red hot I'm not sure what it's doing with this protection actually because I don't think I've got it on right but at least I've done enough recording to see whether it makes a difference I think I might just have to take it off and uh, revert back to what uh, it's like without the ear protection. Thank you very much, love. Thank you. So I'm going to go under the uh, M18. Take that lovely little path between the arches of the uh, trees and edges. Then should come out on uh, Gate Lane, I think it is. I haven't done uh, that path in a while. Uh, Generally, because there's a dog guard in the, the farm at the bottom end, and uh, I got chased once, I don't really want to do it again. But it brings me out at Lindome. It's Maze's Maze. So it needs to be done. Well, this isn't as bad as I thought. I thought this was going to be all overgrown. I do like it down here. I know uh, last year or uh, previous years I've come down here and oh dear, it's just so overgrown. I don't know who uh, maintains it, but they do a good job. They don't have to, I suppose, but uh, it's not looking too bad at the moment. In fact, it's looking pretty good. If anybody uh, is local and they want to come out and um, have a bit of company, Get in touch, I don't mind uh, coming out. It's a bit boring sometimes on your own. Today I've got my music with me. But if anybody fancies it, just message me. Either on Facebook or email. Um, we'll do uh, a couple of hours or so around Doncaster. Uh, it'll be good to get out uh, with somebody, meet new people. <laughs> they don't me head here. So here we are. In the past I've gone up there. That's Branton up there. And that's the uh, the bridge uh, towards uh, over the M18 to Armthorpe. But today we're going to take this road. It is a public uh, bridle path at the end. And it'll take us to Lindome, Maze's uh, Maze. People are familiar with that. And I'm going to go this way then I'm going to come back in a different way and then I'm going to go back again up towards Lindome 
So I think I might call this the Brunton uh, Lindown Parallel Route. Let's see. Well, that's novel then, two vehicles. Let's just see what he does. See if he's going to be uh, polite or if he's going to be a dick. I'll just stop for him. Oh, he's going to be polite, so I'll let him through. Come on, mate. Well done. Well done, you. You can wave now. Thank you. Excellent. Well done. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Yes, excellent. He's just about to give way up there for me. Did you see that? I don't mind giving away from him if they're going to be uh, polite and courteous. courteous. And now we can see by the uh, state of the road, the path is changing. <laughs> Soon going to be dirt. I'm coming up to the farmyard where that car is. That's where the bloody dog used to be. So. Uh, I've asked the universe for the uh, dog not to be present. Just hoping that they've uh, heard my cry and uh, answer it. I think I might just get a bit of a spurt on, just in case. Oh, that's handy. Thank you, Universe, for uh, answering my call. Brilliant. It's chicken pens. That's any chickens. I know I don't make good uh, video footage not being chased, <laughs> but it's good for me. I hate avoiding. Uh, places and routes because of uh, animals like that and dogs as much as I love dogs I don't see why I don't understand why people farmers particularly let them roam on the bridle pass like that if they're, if they're going to chase you and bite you it's, uh, ooh, chickens chickens oh gosh it's enlarged as all well, this it must have been about five, six years ago now since I've been down here. So I'm just coming into the car park of uh, Maze's Maze. It's usually full of vehicles and kids. Uh, obviously it's like a little, uh, a little farm that's made uh, for visitors, children, experience it. Obviously with the shutdown and lockdown and uh, Everything else, it's been shut for a while due to reopen in the next uh, couple of weeks, I do believe. We're coming through the grounds. This is now on uh, Lindome or Borchy Road. Left is the uh, Hatfield Moors, which has just suffered a big uh, fire recently. I don't know the ins and outs, but you can't get to the uh, the moors now. Those uh, pillars of smoke for days and end of day is peat, and peat is a fuel used for burning. So uh, it's closed off for the time being. I don't know how much devastation or anything else, but uh, it'll be interesting to find out at some point. It's a shame, but uh, such things happen. So I'm just going to uh, brave this road now, which has got more traffic on it now. That's uh, so there we go. So this is the River Torn, which I'm going to take down, and it stretches. Well, obviously uh, we're going to take this road here to the right. It goes to the left up to uh, oh gosh, uh, Santoft and beyond Kroll. But today I'm just taking this part to. I think it's Orkley. The last time I came down here was with Noel last summer. Oh, shine a light, I should have been up there, shouldn't I? Um, it was overgrown, dry, hard slog. Oh, let's get up here, Donnie lad. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, gosh, that's hard already. 
Oh, Noel can't be with me today. Unfortunately, yeah. Larry, Larry is busy. And uh, I don't know when uh, he'll be out with me. So Larry, let down. You're being missed. I'm sure my uh, the viewers uh, love you. Uh, I love you out with Donny, lad. Ah, dear. Let's get down here. Oh, no, we went. Afternoon. Is that easy to walk on that? Oh, because this, this is a nightmare, aren't you? Oh, just, <laughs> I'll stay up here then. Ah, oh, dear. Okay, let's just stay here. So all this is just beautiful. You can just see for miles here. It's just rural South Yorkshire. I'm very lucky to have so much on my doorstep. But also, uh, it's not particularly the biking that I want to progress to, but at the moment, it's just nice to be out, feel a bit more alive, and uh, enjoy the scenery, enjoy nature. I'm just riding along here thinking, where's the River Torn? And looking closely, <laughs> I don't know if that's it. Looks like a dike. I don't know if that's it, which looks a bit overgrown. I've got pipe work, both sides here. That's a close look. It's not a big river at all. I think it goes all the way up. I think it follows all the way back to Tickle as well. It's a very long river. But the joins the Trent, I'm not sure. In fact, what am I talking about? I think it actually flows this way, doesn't it? I'm sure it'll flow out to ooze. Yeah. Whole river start on the inner inner land and work the way to the sea, so that must be it. And you can see that beautiful that nice little banking of uh, reeds. <laughs> you talk about rivers. And you look at uh, rivers in America. It's no comparison, is there? I like our little rivers in inland waterways. That's nice. I'm not sure up here whether that's a, uh, an inland pond lake or part of the river. I think it's an enclosed water. Yeah, it is. No kingfishers. Stu Brown, I can't see any kingfishers, mate. All right, gentlemen. I think it's easier walking on this than bloody biking. I come from Hatfield, it was cold when I set off. Bloody red hot now. Yeah, cheers, thanks a lot. Yeah, I think it's one of these uh, paths that is a lot easier for walking than biking. The friction of it all uh, is hard going and leg sapping at the moment. I think this stretch actually from Lindholm to walk is three miles. I think I'm halfway. So beautiful to look at. What's over here? It's looks like the path goes. Yeah. Oh heck. Let's have a look. Let's see what we we shall see. Hope I get it right. Oh I do like these little bridges. I do like these little bridges. I don't know where this goes. <laughs> bridge I mean, it was all flooded on that side the guys that I passed so I can get to walk this way <laughs> let's see if they're telling the truth it's a bloody long way back if it's uh, if it's a wrong bit of information it's given me oh god I sweat on now <laughs> I think that seems to be the uh, the popular side there's a seat there. I'm just hoping that this is uh, this is going to get me out onto Walkley. There's a seat this side. I'd be more uh, more inclined to think that this is a uh, 
this is going to be a, a nice uh, path to get me out onto the main road it means that uh, people use it a lot I know there's foot's uh, been trodden down here but uh, we'll see Donny lad stop being pessimistic optimistic of course there's a way out this is trail I've just seen uh, a sign on the uh, the gate saying uh, the Danum trail now I've never heard of the Danum trail obviously Danum is a, uh, a word common on using Doncaster obviously it's Roman it's a Roman place name for Doncaster but uh, we have many roads and businesses and schools named after um, well, using the word Danum so obviously this is the Danum trail that I'm gonna have to research and find out where it goes which is interesting well I've just met a couple with some uh, kids who said it's not very good on the bike down here it's overgrown <laughs> bloody hell Ooh. oh shite there's nettles and all sorts Ooh. you know what this is going to be a long mile <laughs> overgrown my goodness I'm going to need a machete oh god yes I need to be on the other side really but uh, bloody flooding oh my gosh oh, oh shit oh it's pulling my handlebars this ow Ooh. oh my god oh my god <laughs> When he said there was some deer down here, he probably heard me and run off. Oh, Chuff it out. Right, nettles have deceased. I think. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, bloody rape seed. Mm. Ow! Oh, 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 dear. That went to nettle, I don't know. Thistles. Oh crap. The places I thought I was going to get uh, hung up on. The dogs. <laughs> Near arm thought. A breeze. <coughs> Somewhere where I thought would be pretty, pretty steady. Might be a little overgrown. Uh, it's turned out to be here. Uh, oh Christ. That bloody jungle. Oh jeez can't see oh it's nice by river though <laughs> I need to be on that side you can see it's well cut and maintained right. so I can't be that far I can see the road now probably 200 to 200 meters oh you're tough oh god's truth bloody nettles oh you know what I try not to swear ow here we are, oh, Branton, where all those oldies, side saddle used to be there back in the 80s, long since gone I was in uh, put up, right then, here we go, it's a nice little view, a river torn, yeah I can see the way it's flowing, so yes from Tickill, Doncaster, all the way up to Route Santoft, that way. Right, this way then, up to Oakley and uh, onto Common Lane. And we're back onto Lindome Road then. Oh, smell that fish and chips. Oh dear. You know, I won't mind some, but I ain't got no money with me. I always take money out with me, but uh, because the shops are shut, hell, most of them I don't really bother, and I certainly don't want to queue up and uh, leave my bike outside. Oh, so this is Common Lane, I do believe. I think. And that'll take me to Lindome, or back on the Borchy Road at least. I'd like to thank. Uh, people for watching and uh, my subscribers and people who contributed to uh, the Donny Lad MTV Facebook much appreciated 
and also those following on Strava you know it's uh, it's good that uh, I'm helping uh, folk out particularly around the Doncaster area in terms of uh, choosing routes uh, even if they've got something to watch on TV and uh, Amelia you these telegraph poles it's a uh, generation 4 1970s um, you can tell by the way that the cable's on the side presently they are being taken down and replaced um, but uh, he did want me to uh, mention about telegraph poles so there you are and uh, we're fortunate in this area we seem to have them at staggered across you can see they're a lot thinner and lighter in colour um, and they're all being replaced at this moment so that one's for you Amelia you interesting person you anyone else collects stamps but Amelia she likes to uh, look at telegraph poles each their own I suppose <sighs> well this is a pleasant part of the ride after that <laughs> overgrown uh, riverbank to be fair it were, it were fun actually it were fun I didn't get stung too much here and uh, I'm glad I've done it it was nice that it was nice but what do you expect summer that's what happens you go out in winter uh, everything uh, is short a lot of time it's boggy bloody cold springtime's great things coming out in flower summertime paths get overgrown nettles and as I said before it's about different experiences four times of the year at least just to see a route differently I haven't been down here for a while neither in fact this is about five six years like I said I've been uh, stuck inside or rather I haven't been on my bike since uh, the York ride ten well two weeks ago now we've had rain or really wet conditions for ten days two weeks now although there's puddles here I'm still surprised at how dry everything is I was expecting to get caped up today but uh, not the uh, not uh, not that at all bike's still pretty clean a bit of surface on the tyres but nothing uh, nothing major and I'm uh, I'm mud free uh, so it just shows isn't it all that rain and uh, it's not really impacting on the ground but it's nice and sunny today and when I get home it'll be barbecue time and hopefully a can of uh, dark fruits oh I just love summer Oakley Oakley so here we are then on the uh, Bortrill and Dome Road great oh dear yeah so we've got a bit of a slog now we'll go back to uh, the River Torn then Maze's Maze then Hatfield uh, Mall entrance which you cannot get through then Dome Prison and then we're going to be uh, a bit sneaky and try and get on the old runway okay River Torn so that one takes you to route I've got to do and this is the one that we uh, went down originally next we will have Maze's Maze and uh, Hatfield Moorland it is a long slog this road always has been the one uh, saving grace is this is the uh, the flight path um, landing on Doncaster uh, airport Fortunately, the planes are grounded as the old transport comes in and takes off which I haven't seen today but well, back in the day just to see the Vulcan come down here were great many time I'd uh, catch it driving along and she'd just fly over epic if you haven't seen the Vulcan footage I think it's the uh, video called Finley I put uh, one of my own uh, video clips of the Vulcan flying plenty on the YouTube for you to explore this is where we originally came from Bridle path to my left 
Uh, it's called Boston Park. What did I call it? Maze's Maze, I called it. Boston Park. And then we've got Hatfield Moors. Umberhead, I think it's called. But as we go past, you'll see that the road now is closed off due to the fire. Road closed. Have a look, see what it says. Road closed to traffic due to fire. I feel more as fire emergency service are currently fighting a, a wildfire on Hatfield Moors. So, you know, safety in uh, the safety of firefighters site is closed. Okay, that was the 21st of May. Okay. All right. So you can see from the sign, HMP Lindo Moorlands, HMP Atfield Lakes. Oh, I don't know anything about the lakes. But uh, this used to be old RAF Lindo World War II base. I think it's uh, decommissioned in early 80s or something like that. Uh, the army took over and then the prison service took over and built two prisons. The runway is... Uh, been removed but there is the service road around the edges down there is the entrance to the prison still uh, the old houses the RF uh, houses they were privatized and sold off and they built the prison and I think this uh, this road here although it's signpost for the prisons called Vulcan Way and I know Finley had Vulcans I'm not sure if this uh, RF uh, Lindum did but <laughs> I'm sure that way will set me well, I don't bloody know I'll have to get my Google Maps out and have a look you can see all the runways taken away now they've got corn in this field there's the prison the right D D D D D Better ask these fine people D D D D D D D does, does this road take me on a loop round? Is it pass is it doable? Yeah you can go all the way round. Right. So you just follow this tarmac? Yeah, yeah, just follow it and it takes you, you can get where them sewage plants are. All right, okay. It takes you all the way around. All right, so we, right, because I want to get over to Lindo Mall, so it'll probably, I'll have a look, but thanks anyway. Yeah, you can go all the way around, just keep following it. Right, cheers, love. Thanks very all much. Right. Thank you. Ooh. Well, I've never been down here before. This is interesting. Quite excited now. New. New terrain for Donny lad. So behind all this shrubbery and trees, I think it's uh, Morlands, Morland Dome, or it's so. Two prisons at least. Okay, well the prison is here. I'm not sure if I'm going to get through or not. Some we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> oh gosh, there's a prison. Oh, old John Lilly. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the uh, there's the, there's the tower. Excellent, World War Two tower. You can see the old hangars. Look, all the old hangars. Crazy. 
Oh, I'm probably allowed around here, but I do feel a bit uneasy about it all. The reason why I think I'm allowed around here is because the fences are here. Um, still makes me feel a bit uneasy. It's, it's been some years since I've seen these uh, hangers. Looks like they've been converted into uh, what well, they must leave for the inmates, I'm not sure, but uh, it's a fair few years old now, this prison. I think quarter of a century, 25 years or more. I've never ever been down here. It's a new one for me. Just trying to uh, imagine what it would like as a uh, RAF base. Oh, there's some walkers here, so we'll find out. Hello. Hello. All of us are members of the public. So, uh, can't be that bad down here. Well, I know where I am. That's the uh, the road at Umberhead. I've been down this way and stood up there and took a picture. Uh, and there's the old, uh, let me zoom in, the uh, control tower which I've been. Unfortunately now, I've had to uh, go onto my phone because uh, my GoPro has died which uh, is very discouraging because the battery life doesn't seem to be uh, lasting very long on it. All right, I'm going to go straight ahead and see where this route takes me now. Well, the uh, the GoPro's died. I'm not sure using my own uh, camera, the sound quality is going to be br brilliant because uh, of all the wind. However, I'm on the uh, the road that takes me into Hatfield uh, Moors and into Lindo Hall following it back to Hatfield Woodhouse and then back to Quarry Park so I'm going to end the video there guys um, uh, thanks for watching don't forget if you enjoyed what you've uh, seen please like and um, share any uh, points of interest just write in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, and also uh, all my uh, routes are on Strava please follow me Daniel Adam TV and I'm also on Facebook as well it'd be great to see you there and uh, from me to you have a, uh, a good day and uh, catch you soon cheers now bye